Welcome back to the Button Trivia Club. This week we are talking about a twisted tale, Conceal Don't Feel. It is based on the Disney movie Frozen, but obviously it's a twisted tale. I I love Disney. Um, Frozen is one of those movies where I loved it when it first came out, and then everyone went nuts over Frozen. I'm a teacher, so like, I've had kids go nuts over Frozen for years, to a point where I got sick of Frozen for a while, and I mean, I guess I'm still not... I'm not huge on Frozen. I was for a time, because it, everyone was. I think it was such a breakthrough, great movie. Um, but then, uh, for me, it faded. But, um, I, when I finally picked up The Twisted Tales, this is actually the first one I read. Thinking, okay, I'm gonna give Frozen a chance, and hopefully this won't disappoint me. It didn't. I really liked this. I really, really liked this. Um, it stayed true to their characters, it stayed true to their personalities, like all the people you expected to be there were there even if in slightly different ways. Um, and the things that were different, they made sense, the plot made sense, I really liked this book. I give it between three and four stars, because there were times when I was like, okay, you're just quoting the movie for like a page, or you're just pulling completely straight out of the movie, and I was like, that's not what I want here. I want comp I want more original, because this is original. Like, the plot is different. So the, uh, the concept to this one is, what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? That's so, that is what pulled me in to read this one, because I was like, that's such an interesting idea. Because you think about the movie, and they spend so much of their lives separate, but they know about each other. So what if instead of them being separated their whole lives, knowing each other, they don't know each other? Like, how does that work? Who, who's where? Like, are they still both in the castle? And like, they just don't realize the other one's there? Because that seems unlikely. But no, they're living two separate lives in two very different places, but they're still sisters. They're still sisters. I was gonna say, if you take away the sisters part, then that would, I don't know. I feel like that would kind of destroy the whole purpose of Frozen <laughs> and destroy this whole, storyline because they have to be sisters that's the whole that's the whole big picture here sisterly love family love um now i don't have siblings personally so i have no idea if in frozen or if in this book like they actually get siblings right i just find it such a touching sweet kind story and this stayed true to that from the original and i loved that even though like the whole premise is they don't know each other I'm gonna give you one little spoiler. Yeah, they find out about each other. I mean, that that should be pretty clear. They're gonna find out about each other. Um, they stay true to their characters, so Elsa is still a very serious to herself, lonely, but takes family and responsibility seriously. That's still true. And Anna, on the other hand, is bubbly, she's feisty, she's silly, she loves people, she's outgoing. They are the perfect balance for each other, which, again, that's the point. Um, and that's still true here. It was true in the original, it's true here, and that's what makes their characters work so well together, and what makes this story work so well together. It's why Frozen was so popular to begin with. Everyone loved the sister story. Now, was it the first big good sister story Disney ever made? No. Lots of people try to argue it is, it is not. But it is a really powerful story. And this kept true to that. And I mean, it kept true to it to the point where, again, like, a, I would say probably at least a third of the book is directly quoting or talking about the movie. And again, that's not a bad thing if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for something that's completely original, it's all like, they can, com yeah, they created new characters, that's not here. This is just a twisted version of the original. So you're gonna have them saying the same things. You're gonna have them acting the same way. You're gonna have the same characters doing similar things to their original character because they're still true to that original character. It's just a twist on what happens because one thing changes. Because this one thing, how does the rest of the story play out? Like you still have Anna and Elsa. You still have Olaf. Oh, I love Olaf's character in this story. He was, again, he was still Olaf. And, Every time I would read his lines, I always heard, um, oh goodness, what's the actor's name? Josh... Josh Gad? Josh Gad. I heard his voice every time I was reading Olaf. I had the most trouble with Elsa on that one. Like, with Anna, I still heard the voice actor. With Olaf, and then yes, there's Kristoff, and there's Sven, and there's Hans, and there's the Duke of Wesselton. They're all in there, and I could always hear their voices, like, from the movie. 
I also was the only one where there was a couple times I was like, is that real? Like, would Elsa say that? It felt a little like they were trying to create new things and it kind of went against her personality, but it was still good. She was just the one where I struggled to hear that original voice in my head. All the others, oh, it was great. I loved Olaf. He was that comedic relief you need. Anna was that bubbly fun character that you need. Kristoff was still Kristoff and yes, he still speaks for Sven. And that was, that was I love how they wrote that down. <laughs> Because I kept wondering, like, if he still talks for Sven, how are they going to put that into words, what's happening? And they do it. They, they do it. I think it, it was done pretty well. And um, a lot of the same places are used. There isn't. There are some new places, and there are some new characters that we don't really... That we didn't see in the original, and I liked that. I think if you had just used the small cast of characters from the original, it would have been lacking something. But, like, you get to meet like people that live in the palace you get to meet some of the servants and some of the important people the other what is the word other not exactly royalty but like dukes and ladies and people that are important to the kingdom and i think that that helped build this world because that is another thing that happened really well in this it was it built on the world a lot more than the original which again a book should there should be a lot more to the world there should be a lot more detail um but it still stayed so true to frozen without, like, being too much frozen. I, I, I've probably said that already, but it was good. Um, I, I recommend this one. I can't speak to that for every single one of them, but I recommend this one. This is the first one I read, and it's definitely drawn me in. Like, I'm gonna read more of them. I think I'm... I don't have all of them. I think I have, like, three or four of them, and I'm gonna, like... This may be the first one that goes up, this might be the last one. <laughs> I have no idea. These are all gonna be in a very random order. But this is the first one I read and it drew me into where I wanted to read more. So I recommend this. I love, I mean, if you're a Disney lover, I can tell that this is aimed for people who either love Disney or it's aimed for probably young adult teenagers, young teenagers, maybe even like upper elementary kids or just adults like me who love Disney obsessed with Disney and I'm gonna be doing a lot more books that have Disney themes I'm gonna do a lot more twisted tales I'm also um, reading more um, like the villains books thought about Kingdom Keepers haven't made a decision yet I've gotten feedback both ways of oh you'll love it and oh you really might not <laughs> because that's a very that's a very different style of Disney like it's a different type of Disney like that's more talking about Disney World Disneyland and I love Disney World and Disneyland I have a bias for Disney World um but these are like based on actual like Disney stories and Disney characters and I love that because I love Disney characters I love Disney stories all right let's do our drawing for our new random book all right got my basket I really should go through here and try to add and sort through a little more but all right, here we go. Dug down deep. Ooh. Next is Poor Unfortunate Souls. It is from the Villain series. Hey, I was just talking about that. Poor Unfortunate Souls from the Villain series. It is the third one. Again, I don't like. I don't think the order really matters in that one either. I mean, maybe there's a little more to it with the villains that like you should read them in order. This is the third one. But I mean, I'm not reading them in order. I'm reading them in the order that they come to me. All right, this series is written by Serena Valentino. It is... I've, I've heard good things about the villains, but at this point, I haven't read one yet, at least according to when I'm making this video. A lot of these videos, I'll say this now, I always follow the random order. But there are times I find a good book and I read it, and then it should, this is going to come up whenever I finally draw it randomly. So I may have already reviewed another villain's book. I may have already reviewed another Twisted Tale. At this point, I don't know because I'm doing them out of order, but this will not show up until it is randomly drawn because that is how I do things because I don't want to be biased. I don't want people thinking that I'm just picking it because I want to pick it. I want it to be random. I want to pick some classics, some non-fiction, some young adults, some Disney, some this, some that. So it'll always be random, but my order of making them is not. <laughs> So, whether or not I've done a Twisted Tale or a Villains book, I, here is a Twisted Tale video, and next week there will be a Villains! I love Disney Villains, Poor Unfortunate Souls, Little Mermaid, I mean, 
I'm a redhead. I love The Little Mermaid. I mean, I got red hair because I love The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I mean, I like lots of Disney movies, but I don't know. I always related to Ariel as a kid, and I was like, I'm gonna be a red. I'm gonna be a redhead for that. So I will see you next week when we are talking about Poor Unfortunate Souls from the Villain series. So I will see you next time. Bye!